something told me it was all. Etta James, the great American singer, died today at age 73. For fans, it wasn't a surprise because it had been announced that she was terminal several weeks ago, but it's still a shock to think that any talent that strong could not be here. She really was one of the, the, the most uncategorizable of American singers. People know her, of course, for blues songs and R&B songs, but she sang jazz and pop and every kind of, of music you could imagine. She had the, the greatest range of feeling. People know her best, of course, for At Last, um, and that's a song that got new life when it came back through Beyonce singing it in the movie Cadillac Records, which was based on chess records, and that's where um, Etta James first made her reputation. She had hits going back to when she was a teenager with um, the very kind of randy song, Roll With Me Henry. But then, you know, as I said, probably became known more for blues songs and R&B songs. She always asserted that, that blues music was not sad music. This was really, you know, life music. And it was expressing everything in life. And certainly she had all that in her voice. Her version of At Last is absolutely unparalleled. And when you listen to uh, someone like Christina Aguilera, who's done it prominently recently, you really hear the difference. You can really hear that no one else has that, that depth of feeling. Um, she got everything out of that song, and she will be missed, very missed. All the girls.